Hi everybody, welcome back. We are doing our budget for the next two weeks. So, which kind of sucks. I don't know what happened, but I really screwed up. So, not cool. So we have some issues here that I tried to get taken care of. Um, there's a couple of things I'm not going to worry about until they give me a bill. That's just, I think I've paid them off, but I am not sure. So, when is this due? On the 13th, okay. So, to take a breath. <laughs> um, I thought we had our bed paid off last month. We actually, there's another payment for Sunday that's going to come out and that one is the last one. So I wasn't counting on having to spend $45. So that's going to come out. Yeehaw. So yeah. Um, I, I, I should bring my checkbook with me when I do this too, but um, I have to pay. All right, so we got Metal Town. That's my electric. That is due on the 12th, and you've got until the 24th to pay it, or you get a late fee. I always get a late fee because he gets paid the day after the 24th. I can pay it and send it down there before that and just have it dated the 24th. And yeah, I don't know. Anyways, I'm usually late by doing that. So that's whatever. So that's 68. Actually, the bill is one is, let me look over here because I got everything over here off camera. <laughs> I'd notice that I'm not paying attention to what's being shown and everything, so I have to turn it around. Okay, so the electric bill. It's 137.14 this month. It's due on the 12th. I never pay the whole thing, ever, ever, ever. I split it in half. So I will pay 68, um, 57 on the 11th, and then I'll pay the other one on the 25th so I'll get a late I'll get a penalty and it's like two dollars and 67 cents 68 69 70 so I'll figure out what the difference is and and okay, I don't care for two bucks it, it just that's how he gets paid and that's what I do I can't I, I, I can't I can't, ugh, I can't do it like that sorry I just can't so that one is in here. I've written that one in. Okay. We will put that aside. And then I have my cell phone. It's the same thing. My bill is $271 every month. And I pay it half and half. So I paid um, $135 on the 27th of June. And I owe another $35.52 on the 11th and that'll pay off my bill and just as I pay that off I will get a new one in the mail so I put cell phone 135.52 okay that's in there so I have I talked to hubby about FedEx and we will deal with that at a later time we're not gonna until they get nasty we're not gonna deal with that m momentarily we'll have to We'll deal with that at a later time. Um, credit cards. I got those down here. Um, I'm not sure, like I said, about FedEx. So, um, the 
open sky bill is just three dollars i owe three dollars on that one and then the two big ones which is i bought my um tires for the camper that was four hundred and something dollars and then we did what else did we do on here we had to we had to get tires for some friggin else something else I can't remember what it was anyway it was 600 and something I paid 200 I pay 200 every check just about so I've got 498 left so I need to put on this one I'll probably pay a hundred on it I'll pay a hundred on that one but this one I have to put $200 on because this is the one we use for the dentist so I will pay seven, eleven. I'll put two hundred on here, and that brings it down to three fifty-two. And our limit on here is pretty. It's pretty good. So we send a dentist every time he goes because he's not done yet. I think he has two more visits. He has this visit and then another one in August sometime. So um, I give the dentist five hundred dollars every time I go on the card so I just pay it gives me time to pay it down until the next time we go and then when he's all done I will um, I'll pay off this card but also I'll make payments to them I'll, I've got the bill somewhere I'll have to look for it and I subtract off of that each time because his total thing was like five grand for his for his teeth I would have just pulled them all out but Anyway, so I got that one on here, and I have a bunch of these stupid, stupid, stupid medical things. I called about this, um, I owe money for Ariel, which I didn't know I did. It's removal of her nail because she had an ingrown toenail and we had to remove it. So I owe $90 for that. So I've got to send them something. This one is under Ariel. So I have to send them something. So I was thinking about sending 50, but we'll see. And then I may send them 25 and 25 to this one so they get off my back. So that's the hospital and doctor. I'll send 50. Between the two of them, I will send 50 dollars and then this one I don't know what they're gonna do with this she was supposed to be looking at it for me because I don't think I owe under me for me I don't think I owe this 50 something dollars I know I owe 30 so I'm gonna have to pay something on this too so I'll probably end up paying I'll probably end up paying 75 between the doctor and I've got to pay on those or they're going to start getting nasty with me. So as long as I'm paying on it, it'll shut them up. So I have that going on. Okay, that takes care of those. And then I have, well, see, I already, I already put erase this. I already put that down there. And I already put that down there in credit one. I already put those down. So, okay. That one says there's a fee, but he's gone on there. There's no fee due. So, I'm not going to worry about that. And so Amazon has been screwing up. I have them coming out on the 14th. They deliver, I think I went in there and changed it to once a month, but I think they're still coming every other. So there is, it's like $75, $70 between vitamins and bones. So I need to figure out when they take it out. Cause I just, I just see they, they, 
it's due to arrive date. And they usually take the money out a couple of days prior to that. So I need to go in and double check that so I get that right this time because it messed up, it messed up my, this last one, it messed it up. So I need to go in and check out for sure on those. But one is $24, one is $8.97. And then I have two of them at $11. 23 and then one at 1065 so I have to go in and double check those and I was talking to my friend I pay $80 a freaking month for my a dish and that messed me up because I did not put that on here on the I have to make sure when I'm writing in here when stuff comes out because the third Disney Plus was supposed to come out and I didn't write it in here. And I don't know why. And that's eight fifty. And that comes out of personal. So I was off with that one. And my direct TV, when's that come out? It just came it comes out at the beginning of the month. the 26th so that'll come out the next one is direct TV and 80 bucks um, no I am going to end up canceling that I got to make a note from Monday when I go shopping to look for the butterfly antenna that's the inside antenna you hook it to your TV and you should be able to get your local channels and stuff the only reason I have that direct TV plus or whatever the heck it is is because I want to get the local channels and um, all this stuff while well, our friends she spends um, for TV she probably spends $25 and she gets our local channel she gets all that size what are you doing so she walked me through different stuff and I'm like okay I'm getting rid of that so that's gonna save me 80 bucks a month So the problem is, like when his thing got paid off, it was like a hundred and something dollars every month or whatever, every couple weeks. That was supposed to be going into savings. Well, we ended up getting these credit cards, so now all that money that I had extra is going to pay these stupid credit cards. So when I get them paid off, something freaking happens and you, ha you have to take care of it. So what do you do? So it kind of sucks anyways. His shoes, his last payment for his shoes come out on the 16th. So his shoes will be paid off. Then we pay Netflix, and then we pay my tube buddy, and then we pay, um, I, I got her sneakers for school. So those are, I have to pay 2111 until August 6th. So that comes out like every other week, every other week. I'm paying those off and then her school clothes I ordered from Shein so those are $42 so that's extra but it's for school I'm not forking out 300 bucks right away you know I'd rather do it in payment thing so I got that listed right here um, my one thing I got for outfit the last payments on the 8th which is Friday. That last one should come out and I don't have that payment anymore. So that's gone. I'll just have her sneakers and her school clothes and hubby's shoes are gonna be paid off. So I don't want any more payments. I'm not gonna do, I wanna get her stuff paid off. I can go into my zip um, account and pay on it if I want or just let it run. So. I'll probably just let it run. And then the internet, I never got the bill. It's supposed to come over on the first. I never got it, so I got in touch with him. He sent it over, and so I have a little leeway before it's a late fee with that. So I'm gonna pay that Monday. And then I already talked about the hospital and the credit cards. So 
let's see what we're gonna end up with. Hubby's getting a haircut. So he's getting a haircut. That's gonna be probably 25 bucks, I'm guessing, is his haircut on Monday. He needs to get his haircut. So let's see. He gets paid. do everything right, let's minus that out, it is 946 46, okay, and which isn't bad, I still have groceries I gotta get, I still have, Jeff has a doctor's note, he doesn't have to go down to the office for, till the end of the month, and then he's gotta travel again, but I, we need to get gas in the vehicles, <laughs> Um, the Hummer, I need to put like 25, 30 bucks in. Um, my car, I'm gonna have to put more money in. His car, we're gonna have to put money in. So there's gas in the cars. And then I have to figure out how much we're gonna have to take out. I got my um, bill for uh, property taxes. They give you, he's a veteran, so they take care of a portion of it. So I don't have to worry about one of these, the house one. I don't, I get two because we have, we, our house is on um, one parcel and our shop is on another parcel and his veteran um, payment only takes care of the house. So the house is taken care of. I do not have to come up with that money every year at all, at all. So the only one I have to come up with is the shop and it says here, if there's any kind of, if there's no changes, then my payment's gonna be $319.25. So we need to figure out prop taxes, okay? I don't think I have any more car registration. Where's my car registration page? I started out real good with this stuff, guys, and <laughs> it's becoming a nightmare. Okay, we've got April, February, April, March, May, November. November, we've got the car. We need to start thinking about that. And registration for the Fusion, it's 160. $164 and the property taxes are three. I'm just gonna put 320. So I need to figure up, and they're both due at the same time. This is due, I think it's um, November 1st, I think. And his car is due the end of November. So we'll figure out property tax. We'll figure out the property tax. Let's figure that out. So how many months do we have? Let's see, we've got, let's start in August. August, September, October, November, four months. He gets paid twice a month. So two, four, six, eight weeks. Okay, so we'll put 320 divided by eight equals $40. So we're gonna have to start thinking about putting $40 out of the check into that other account. And then his car is the same thing. Well, it's due, when did I say? When was that due? That chart for the car, November. So 
all the same time. So 164 divided by 8 equals $20.50. So if we do $21 every paycheck until November, this should be the money for that. So we got to start figuring that out. And we got to start doing Christmas too. So if I did July, August, September, October, November, four months is two, four, six, eight weeks. So actually six weeks. We'll do six weeks. What's 25 times six equals 150 bucks? No. We need a thousand dollars. Let's do a thousand divided by eight equals. 125. I don't know if I'll be able to do that. And then Christmas, I'd like to do $75 per check. So how much does that give me? 75 times 8 equals 600 bucks. It's better than nothing. If we do 80 that's more like if we can put a hundred if we can put a hundred away let's see that would still give us a little bit every little bit helps with that I mean she's getting older so she doesn't it's not going to be as expensive, but I don't know what the prices are going to be in, um, <laughs> I don't know what the prices are going to be. So we figured that out. So we'll just have to wait and see kind of thing. So that's what I'd like to do for August is put this money away. So that is 140, $161 I'd like to be putting in the savings account. We'll have to see. It depends on what happens. So I'm going to have to go back through this and figure out, make sure I got stuff written in here. <laughs> because when I go to write it in here for August, I want to make sure that I have it. And if she's not watching Disney Plus, I want to get rid of that. If she's not watching it anymore, I don't think she does. But she might on her um, tablet and stuff. She might. So. I don't know. And we're going camping on the 7th of August. And he gets paid So with that money, so the 5th, and he gets paid on the 8th. So while we're gone, he gets paid. Oh, crap. I need to figure out what needs to be paid, because I may have to go up and take care of that while I'm at the lake. I'll have to go up and take care of stuff. I'll have to sit down and look at this and see... August. So his next check, I need to figure what I need for the camper for food and stuff because I need to have that ready. A lot of stuff is already in there from July. I just got to plan meals for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight nights. So I got to sit and figure that out before the next check. Anyway, that is our little thing. This is what my mess looks like. So when I do these payment things, I just put a piece of paper here and write it down. And yeah, we'll have to. And I think the boat, I don't know if I'm just gonna leave it. I might just, I don't know if I wanna cancel that. Cause after August, 
I can cancel the insurance on that, which is what I might do. So it's just easier for me to do that. So we shall see. So that's everything for this. It gives me a major headache. I got a wicked headache right now because I hate dealing with this crap. I, I just, I hate it. I don't like it. And hubby gets upset. I have no money. I have no money. So it just, it sucks. And I got to start thinking about getting a job, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to because of the, the anxiety. It just kills me. And now I have health issues. I just don't know. I don't know. I'll have to, to see. I can't stand on my feet all day. <sighs> so we'll see. I don't know. Anyways, that's my fun. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye now.